Hey everyone, this is James from American DJ or ADJ. Uh, and I was just wanting to make a quick video on a more of an overview of uh, what the what all the options are in Hardware Manager uh, for the Mod DMX Go device. So when you download the separate install of Hardware Manager on your Windows or Mac, um, it usually kind of gives you like a little application folder or something. Uh, here on Windows, it's it's a folder, and you just go find the the, the exe, double click that, and then you see it'll come up and say. Uh, Sudi 10A Mod DMX Go. So if you see Sudi 10A or Mod DMX Go in your app as as the device connected, um, that's totally fine. The Sudi 10A is sort of like a like an internal uh, chip name, so that's what that means. So clicking on the device will open up its information uh you know it's device type name serial number uh you go to the sut and it'll tell you all the different softwares that uh this device has a license for and what they how long they're good for etc uh, i'm not going to really get into that right now and the firmware, uh, the firmware can help you out if you're having issues. Um, just behavior of the the box itself. Um, even if you if you're on if you're on a version that's smaller than this, or maybe even a little bit higher, um, just see what it's offering and install it. Um, doing doing a firmware update can't really ever hurt your device unless something really goes wrong, uh, but that would be pretty rare. Uh, even if it's even if you still even if you only see uh, say for example 0 0.23 is what I have and it's giving me 0 0.23, um, and if it's just something's not working right and you just want to redo the firmware update, you can go ahead and just rewrite the same one that that won't harm anything at all. So go ahead and feel free to do that if you think something's not behaving right. Uh, the standalone function is not totally valid for if it's thing. It's there, and uh, I know mine is upgraded for more standalone channels, but you uh, you really don't need to do this or mess around with it. Um, it's kind of hard to. To figure out on your own as a first time user and stuff so uh email us if you have questions about that uh support at adj.com uh dmx out we don't have support dmx in on this interface um but this is where you could test the the two dmx uh connections on the box i go in into the tester and and manually control fixtures so, and if you have trouble understanding what the light does uh, you know just plug this into your computer plug in a DMX cable from the go to the, your light uh, figure out its address and start messing with fader to see what does what and take notes um, IO ports is uh, this that um, 16 pin connector on the back it's for, for your dry contact closure ports um, also, the the up and down buttons, uh, you know, you can test, make sure they're working right here. Um, there's up and down and D on on the uh, on the device itself. If you hold D while you press up or down in standalone mode, that it's obviously just a dimmer. So yeah. Uh, clock clock can be important if you if you actually do get to use uh, standalone um, you want to make sure your clock is set to the right time and stuff like that so make sure it's synchronized to your your computer's time or to your location or whatever and lastly there's some um, starting parameters uh, miscellaneous settings this is the the default 
uh, eight or nine uh, preset shows that come in built into the standalone memory. So you don't really probably need to play with this one very much. Um, we don't really have either of down here, so maybe just ignore this. But we do have Wi-Fi, and here's where uh, a lot of people like to um, mess around and stuff. You can, um, this is where you can change the mode to uh, dual station or access point uh, by default. I think it's dual. Um, but the main thing I wanted to show you in here was um, you can change the SSID, like the name of how it shows up in your under the Wi-Fi list on your on your iPad or your Android tablet, um, and change the password. But the main thing that I want to show you was uh, the channel. You will usually want to change the channel, typically to like. Uh, you know, 10, 11, 12, usually higher into the range, uh, on a really congested uh, 2.4 Wi-Fi areas. So this is where you do that. You just simply, you know, tick the box, you know, up or down, and then you just click store, and it'll store those new settings to your mind, your Mexico. So I'm not really going to change anything on mine. Mine's working fine. I don't need to change it. So, but I just wanted to show you this section. Uh, you can restore to defaults. Um, the station mode um, or dual lets you connect to your Wi-Fi and networks and stuff like that. So. It allows you to connect to like your home network and connect at the same time. So, um, uh, this is new. Mm, yeah, I don't think we're just gonna ignore that. <laughs> That's new. So, anyways, but the main thing and point of this video was to show you the Wi Fi area, and it's very simple to just. Turn it on, go to Wi-Fi, go to access point, change your channel number, store it, and you'll have better connection uh, in your more heavily congested uh, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi areas. Uh, the Go does not support 5 gigahertz, so I believe it does not, so it's just something to be aware of. And so yeah, that's that's really just what I wanted to show you on here. I hope this is helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, just shoot us an email or um, post in the uh, the My New Mexico Facebook group. And uh, have a good day, have a good night, whatever. Thanks.